full house tonight. Great. Um, uh, I would just like to say something, point out a little fact for you people here tonight. Um, there are three female comedians performing tonight, and there are two males. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Just saying that's not very common in the comedy world, is it? Uh, I'd like to say we got, I heard you heard about Idaho. We got saying about that in Idaho. What we call that is a hoedown. <laughs> it's a, uh, you gotta knock one of the hoe down so everyone can dance. So we're gonna dance here tonight, people. Thanks for laughing, Mom. That's great. Um, uh, so they said something. My teacher ruined my entire skit, thanks. Oh, by the way, I can't reach it. <laughs> um, anyway. So, uh, there was a little thing to see who came here the furthest, who traveled to the show. And uh, I was actually going to ask that because I was curious myself where you guys are all from here tonight. So I wanted to see who traveled the furthest to come to this show. And I just want to say that because I moved here two months ago from Idaho. And um, I've heard this conversation more times than I can count. <clears throat> Back in... <laughs> Felt like the 401k was blocked up today to Disneyland. <laughs> and I don't know how that's gonna affect our futures, but I'm gonna be like two hours late for work today. You wanna get a smoothie? I'm an actress. <laughs> so anyway, so I, I'm just curious how long it takes people to get here. Anyone travel far today? Not you Idaho people, anyone else? <laughs> Come on, you guys can talk to me. It's okay, I'm nice. Anyone who traveled furthest? You. Westwood. Westwood, where's Westwood? Um, it's just about 10 minutes east of San Diego. I can't hear! I can't hear! I'm up here saying you want to talk, you should have gone on stage! You want to talk, you should have answered my question! Uh -huh. Just kidding, we're having fun here. Like I said, sorry, she's from Westwood. Where's Westwood, honey? <laughs> You know, you look like that lady who was up here, Esmeralda. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. she's hot. So you came here 10 minutes from Westwood. So that drive, I'm sorry, that was how long? Um, like 45 minutes. That's long. Anyone else, 45 minutes? Did you come here by yourself? No. No, you came here with a boyfriend. Oh, okay. It's not like I was gonna hit on you or anything, but it, <laughs> just so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am. I'm lonely, though. Uh, my mom came here. That is my mom in the audience, everyone from Idaho. Yeah. Who else? Clap for my mom. Over here. And that's great. Um, my mom came here the other day, so I've been here two months, and I haven't made a single friend. Uh, that's because I'm a country girl living this city life. No one understands me. <laughs> Could have my own TV show. Um, anyway, so uh, my mom came here, and she's been here one day. And um, in like two hours at my apartment complex, she already made me a friend. I have a play date. His name's Josh. I just want to reenact my uh, interaction with Josh the other day. My mom's like, I met you a really cute boy. His name's Josh. He's going to be your friend. So I'm like, cool, I'm going to meet this Josh because I have no friends, right? So, <clears throat> hi, Rebecca. My name's Josh. I'm from North Carolina. And I, I'm a musician. I'm in a band. <laughs> My mom told your mom, who told me, that you like the Beatles. Is that true? <laughs> My name's George Harrison, and I'll play the guitar. <laughs> That's an impression. The first one's on the house. <laughs> so, Josh, uh, you're lonely. Yes, I'm lonely. I could use a friend. Well, Josh, you don't need to tell me that you're lonely. I know you're lonely. Do you know how I know you're lonely? It's because you're a pig farmer. True story. Him and his mom were pig farmers. You think coming to L.A. that a pig farmer is going to make a lot of friends? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a question. <laughs> Do you? Anyone got pig farmer friends? I got one his name's Josh. He's my only friend. So Josh is a pig farmer. And then I thought, should I tell Josh not to tell people that because he won't make friends? And I thought, no. Because I remember this place called Little Armenia. You guys have heard of this? So like, you're laughing. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. It's a true place where there's like Eastern Europeans. So they're like totally into pigs, 